typical six-week post-op or four-week post-op or three-month post-op should be like. Here I am, um, let's see, surgery is in May, it's January of 2014, and I have gone back to the gym. I was back in the gym about seven, maybe eight weeks after the surgery. Uh, I love to do a circuit breaker class, which is kind of a high-intensity um, class with some light weights. I love to do a power flex class. I live downtown, and so we bike around downtown a lot, and I also work downtown, so for me to be able to get back on my bike and just to be able to go and be as active as I used to be was real important for me. I still have some limitations. Um, lunges are still a bit hard for me. Anything where I'm putting pressure on just that one side. I can tell, though, as the months have gone by, that some of the exercises, they've, they've just gotten easier. I can feel as those muscles strengthen themselves back up. So, you know, but like I say, I know that it's, it's a work in progress. Um, I'll never be where I was prior to when all the pain began, but um, it's, it's amazing to know that I've been able to heal this much in this short period of time and get back to pretty much everything I was doing previously. I want to give um, just a really big thank you to Dr. Bernard um, and, of course, Dr. Robertson for referring me over to Dr. Bernard. I couldn't have asked for a better surgeon if I had put together my own perfect surgeon on paper. Um, so everyone, including Katie, my physical therapist, she was amazing. Uh, love her. In fact, we have the same birthdays. So uh, she'll always uh, come to my mind every year on my birthday. And I just want to give a big shout out to CSMO in general. They have just been there for everything that I've needed. They've always been nice and accommodating, and I just appreciate everything. And they